Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Good evening. Nice, Good appreciate that you are on time. Uh, please make sure that you have your full name in the app, right? Carlos Rogel is just one name and was one last name. So please uh, validate your full name and appreciate your cameras, right? for the ones that are already with the camera on, okay? So we are about to start today's class. And you know that we are in the last, um, that we are in the last week, right? So this is the last week. So we are all aware that uh, next Thursday is the last day and that we have to complete everything in the platform, right? So we are already aware, we already know that uh, next uh, Thursday is the last day and that we are going to be um, working in the last exercise, the final quiz for the platform in the way. So on Thursday morning, so we will be ready um, to be promoted to the next course, right? So today I will give you the score that you have for the attendance as well. So in that way you can be able to analyze so how it's your score so far. Okay, so thank you for your cameras, right? For the ones that are already with the camera on. And um, uh, let's see, um, uh, Maria, tell me, hello, how are you, Maria? Tell me, what, how was your day? Did you do something mm -hmm. special? Mm -hmm. Busy, like I was. Like always, so what do you do? Um, um, go to, to, somewhere to work some, to some pension, pension homes and, and in my home. <laughs> so you were at home the whole day, so you don't have a job or, or, or do you? No, um, it's, uh, no. It's, it's not a job. Uh, I'm an um, um, entrepreneur, like entrepreneur. You are, you are a, a what? I'm sorry, casi no se le escucho. Um, entrepreneur? Yeah, no, I'm sorry, I didn't get, no sé si no escucho bien, ya le di más volumen aquí, pero I didn't get no, the I... work. Is like entrepreneur? No. Don't no, hear? so I'm sorry. You hear me? 
Now, yes. Uh -huh. What do you do? What, what, what do you do during the date? Um, in my, in my, in my in visit, uh, it's like it's a fashion visit and okay. yeah, in some compromise de casa. Okay, so that will be uh, responsibilities at home, right? Can be responsibilities that you have at home. Okay, okay. But it's nice, at least uh, you are, you know, at home, you have like time to uh, be on charge of those responsibilities, right? So yes. that is nice. Thank you, um, Maria, tell me. So let's see, Marvin Alejandro, what about you? Tell us. Uh, how was your day? Be honest, only work, miss. Okay, so you are working and also you are studying at the same time, right? Uh, yes, you're right. But okay. for the moment, only work. Okay, okay, I understand. Perfect. Uh, Marvin Alejandro. Uh, let's see. Nice. Claudia Marlene, welcome. Thank you for your camera. So, Claudia, tell mm -hmm. us uh, the day, please. What day is today? So, tell us what's today's date. Um, I think that that is a bad day because I, I'm very sick. So, uh, so what, 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 what do you have? <laughs> so you need to be resting, okay? You yeah. you have to yeah, you I'm have resting. to be resting. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm sorry to hear that, but that's nice that you have the yeah. time and everything, you know, to be resting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice. Let's see, Jancy Veronica, I'm sorry, Carolina, Jancy Carolina, ya le estoy cambiando el nombre, so. Jancy Carolina, uh, tell us, what is a today date? Jancy Carolina, tell us, no, eso no es mi apellido. Um, Jancy Carolina. That's you, Jancy, I'm sorry, Jancy Carolina. Okay. Repeat, please. Yeah, tell us uh, today date. What is a today date? Today day is Tuesday. And hello. Yeah, go ahead. Tuesday. And Ju July twenty twenty three. Okay. Uh, July 11th, right? The date it's 11th, okay? Mm -hmm. 2023, okay? So uh, let's start with the attendance. We still have people missing, but anyway, so we have to pass the attendance like always, right? So just let me open the attendance document right here. 9 a 10, right? So please let me know if you are here. Uh, let's see, Alejandra Elizabeth. Present, Miss. Nice, Alejandra Maria. Present, teacher. Nice, Alison Stephanie. Present. Nice, Ana Lucia. Present, teacher. Nice. Uh, let's see, Ana Lucia, Ana Ruth. Present, coach. Nice, Andrea Esmeralda. Andrea Esmeralda, no. Eh, Blanca yeah, Estela. Aquí estoy, me acabo de venir. Ok, Esmeralda, nice. So, Estela, Blanca Estela. Nice. Eh, Claudia Marlene. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Carlos Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Edgardo de Jesús. Edgardo de Jesús, ¿no? Ah, okay. 
Uh, then we have Elba Esmeralda. Yes, teacher. Nice. Uh, Fabricio Romero. Fabricio Romeo. No. Uh, then we have Jocelyn Esmeralda. Kenia Roxana. Kenia, no. Eh, let's see, Crisia Lorena. Crisia Lorena, no. Uh, let's see, then we have uh, Maria Delmi. I'm here. Uh, Marvin Alberto, ahí está. Sorry, Sorry teacher, uh, someone is in the on the chat. I think it's Fabricio with this present. Okay, thank you, Esmeralda. Nice. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's see, Marvin Alejandro is there. Uh, Mayra Siomar. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Siomar. Eh, Noé. De Jesús. No, eh, no, eh, no, eh, no. Eh, Ricardo, Antonio. Hear me. Ok, mister. Eh, Sandra Lisset. Here, teacher. Ok, miss. Uh, Cindy Carolina. Here. Nice. Eh, Wendy Beatriz. Present. Okay. Eh, Jancy Mariel. Present. Nice. Eh, Jancy Carolina. I'm here, teacher. Okay. So uh, we are going to validate the attendance at the end. So Jancy Carolina, did you come to classes yesterday? Sí vino ayer, ¿verdad, Jensi Carolina? Y estuvo conectada la hora completa. Yes. Ok. So, le pregunto porque bien extraño, como que no me le han puesto aquí los minutos conectados, bien raro. Yo ya le puse las 60, pero... Sí, estuvo. Bien raro. Cinco bien. minutos, como a las 10, 10, uy, 9, 5 me conecté. Okay, okay, no problem. So let's see, I'm going to mention the score that you have for um, for the attendance. No sé si le es relevante y le gustaría saber el porcentaje que tiene hasta el momento. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so listen, nice. Listen, if you come to all the classes, o sea, si usted ha venido todos los días de clase, y se ha conectado la hora completa, es decir, no ha perdido tiempo, no se ha salido a ese motivo, este, ya debería de estar en el 80. Ok, voy a mencionar cuánto tiene usted. Eh, le comento que eh, la persona que tiene mayor, deje ver, mayor porcentaje de asistencia tiene 80.94, casi llega a los 81. Ok. So, tome eso de parámetro 80, que es hasta el día de ayer. Lo que usted esté conectado ahora va a aparecer mañana, pero de momento usted debería de tener, si no ha faltado, 80 punto algo. Ok. So, let's see. Let's start. Alexandra Elizabeth, 7979. 79. Prácticamente ahora llega al 80. Alejandra María, 66. Punto eh, 25. Alison Stephanie, 7917. Igual creería yo que ya con la clase de ahora llega al 80 mañana. Ana Lucía, 67.71. Ana Ruth, 66.77. Andrea Esmeralda, 72.29. Brenda Estela. 73.13 eh, Carlos Ernesto 65.83 
Claudia Marlene, 75.21. Edgardo de Jesús, 79.90. Prácticamente mañana está en 80 o más. Eh, then we have Elba Esmeralda, 74.27. Eh, Fabricio Romeo, 69.06. Jocelyn Esmeralda, 70.63. Kenia Roxana, 61.77. Eh, Crisia Lorena, 52.21. Eh, María Delmi, María Delmi. 78.96 Marvin Alberto 74.58 Marvin Alejandro 79.48 Mayra Xiomara 68.02 Noé de Jesús 68.02 Ricardo Antonio, 69.69. Sandra Lisset, 80.94. Excelente. Eh, Cindy Carolina, 69.38. Eh, Wendy Beatriz, 37.29. Chancy Mariela, 74.38 y Jensi Carolina 65.25 ok so those are the scores eso es lo que hay o sea lo que usted tiene de asistencia ganado sure, eh, los, hasta el día de ayer sorry, y, y si los que tengan 74 eh, cuando completamos hoy o mañana I would say today. Yo creería que hoy. O sea, usted aquí tendría que hacer la matemática. Aquí el documento, el Excel ya tiene fórmula. O sea, uno no tiene que estar sumando uh -huh. ni eso porque ya está hecho. Pero para que usted tenga la idea, eh, el, cada día son 60 minutos. Es decir, que usted multiplica uh -huh. 60 por 16. ¿Verdad? Que son los 16 días que usted va a tener clase. Lo divide y ahí saca el porcentaje del día. ¿Cuántos minutos debe de tener al día? Y ahí pues usted va haciendo la matemática. O sea, eso ya está hecho eh, eh, el cuadro, pero igual usted lo puede modificar. Usted debe de saber darle lectura. ¿Cuánto es eh, el porcentaje que, que usted lleva? Bien, no sé si estamos bien. ¿Habrá alguna duda? Ok, sorry. So, ahí está. Si usted tiene 80, ya está set. Con esto yo no le digo, mire, ya no venga mañana tampoco, ¿verdad? Eh, si usted tiene 70 y algo, no se preocupe. O sea, con la clase de ahora, la gran mayoría mañana, si gustan, podemos volver a revisar. Mañana muchos de ustedes ya van a estar en el 80. Más, porque, eh, o sea, están en 70 y algo. Si usted está en 60 y algo, yo le recomiendo no faltar lo que su falta de la clase de hoy, mañana y pasado, porque tiene que llegar al 80. Ahora, si usted está abajo de 50, que creo que solo hay una persona que he mencionado así, eh, sí, está un poco complicado. Igual les recomiendo conectarse, aunque al final pues pueda que haya algún inconveniente, porque no ha estado, ¿verdad?, como decir completo, ¿verdad? Y la jornada completa. Bien, so let me share the screen. Do we have homeworks? ¿Quedó tarea? No, ¿verdad? No quedó tarea. This is the one. No, this is not this one. Okay, so we are in this part, right? ¿Qué vimos ayer? Present continuous. 
Yeah. Present continuous. Tell us. Let's see. Vamos a ver quién. Eh, Cindy Carolina, tell us. What is the present continuous or what did you remember from the present continuous? Uh, you can use the present continuous when you are talking about action that you are doing in that time. Perfect, okay, perfect. Yeah, we mentioned that, right? So the present continuum is a tense that we are going to use to talk about an activity or an action that is start in the past uh, and continue right now, okay? Uh, continue um, right now at the moment that we are talking or that we are speaking, right? Nice, Cindy Carolina. Let's see, uh, Mayra Xiomara, did you remember something else about the present continuous? Mayra Xiomara? Mayra Xiomara, creo que no, no tiene audio. Okay, so Jensi Carolina, help us. Jensi Carolina, so tell us what else did you remember from the present continuous? Uh, in the present continuous, they use ING in the verbs. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Very nice, okay, the ING, the ING, okay? We mentioned, right, that the present continuous is the famous ING, okay? Nice. Um, let's see, let's read the examples. I guess we didn't read it la yesterday, right? So mencionamos, hicimos una práctica, usted hizo un par de oraciones, okay? Pero creo que estos no los leímos, si no recuerdo, no, no los leímos, right? No nos dio el tiempo, so let's see. Um, Carlos Ernesto, help us, please. Read the, 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 the first three questions with the three answers. Okay. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. Huh? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Or no, she isn't. Are Elle and Jill going to the college this year? Yes, they are. No, they are not. Or no, they haven't. Okay, nice, thank you. So, these ones are examples, right? Present continuous. Nosotros aquí solo lo pone como las questions. Pero nosotros ayer hicimos el review de las positive, negative, and questions, right? Aunque aquí el libro solo nos está poniendo de momento questions, okay? That is the structure, usted ya lo tiene, right? Verb to be, the subject, the verb, the ing, the complement, the question mark, okay? And the answers are very simple, yes or no, depending on the on the situation, because these ones, these three are yes, no questions. ¿Sí se acuerdan, right? Yes, no questions. The answer is very simple, okay? So let's see, uh, Marvin Alejandro, help us now with this one. These ones are WH with the Present continuous, please. We are working now. What are your brother doing these days? Who are your parents visiting this week? And the next one. Yes. Yeah, please. Okay. I I not working. I need a job. He's traveling in the Amazon. They are visiting my grandmother. Okay, perfect. Thank you, uh, Marvin. Okay, so these ones are WH, right? Aquí lo que usted tiene que saber que en todo tiempo gramatical yo puedo incluir las WH questions, right? Sigo la misma estructura, no cambio, solo agrego aquí 
la WH, ¿ok? Que ya usted ya sabe cuáles son las WH questions, right? So, then the structure continue exactly the same. The difference is a little bit right here in the answers, right? Because yes, no questions, the, the answers are very simple. But if we have a WH question, so the answer is a little bit more complex, right? So you have to explain more. It's not just yes or no, the answer. So we need to answer deeply, right? Porque nos están preguntando eh, qué, cómo, cuándo, okay? So the answer will be a little bit more. Okay, so let's complete the conversation using the present continuous. Let me make it a little bit small and uh, look at the, the picture, right? Look at the scene. And um, I remember that I have a picture, okay? Ya vamos a mirar esto. Creo que nos va a dar el tiempo. Vamos a tratar de salir con este. Y prácticamente con ustedes ya estamos set. Esta conversación y quantifiers and that's it. Y se nos acaba el manual, okay? So... Today and tomorrow we finish, okay? But I would like to uh, share with you the the um, the rules, okay, about the ING, porque eso sí me interesa que usted sepa la regla de los ING. Le dije ayer, recuerdo que le dije que no es que yo vengo así como que a lo loco, a todos ING como caiga. No, hay una regla que yo debo de saber y respetar. But before to see the rules, so let's try to answer this exercise, right? It says complete the phone uh, conversations using the present continuous, okay? Number one, this is the scene, this is the picture. So let's see, um, Claudia Marlene, you will be letter eight. And let's see, Maria, tell me, please be letter B. So remember that we have the verb in parentheses, right? So we need present continuous. Okay. Hi, Stephanie. What are you doing? I'm... Hey, Mark. I'm standing mm -hmm. in a, in a elevator, elevator and, um, and it's stuck and I... and it's stuck. Mm -hmm. Oh no, are you okay? Yes, I I wait. I wait. It's it moving. It moving now. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, so remember that the idea here is that the situation is at the right moment. Okay, she looks really nice, like in the picture, but. The situation is not good, right? She's basically in the elevator and the elevator gets stuck. Okay, so mm -hmm. she is in a problem right there, right? She has a, a, a situation. It says, hi, Stephanie, what are you doing? Hey, Mark, I'm standing in an elevator and it's stuck. Oh, no, are you okay? Yeah, um, I waited, okay, so it moving mm -hmm. now, okay? So le dice como, hey, esperate, como en right moment that she's talking right through the phone. Hey, wait, uh, wait a mo it's moving now, okay? So thank goodness. So al mismo instante se, se destraba el elevador porque está ahí travated, right? So está detenido, entonces at the moment that she's talking, so it gets fixed, right? And that's, everything goes well. So the number two, look at the picture, the day two, they are talking and, we have many presents right here, like shopping, right? So let's see what's going on in this one. Um, Sandra Lisette, B, letter eight, and uh, Marvin Alejandro, letter B, please. Mercy, how are you and Justin enjoying your shopping, mm -hmm. right? Well, we... We having a lot of fun. Of fun. Why are you the bird to be? Sorry, are Sandra. You? We are, I'm sorry. Okay, right. okay. We are. Okay, continue, please. Why your brother is spending a lot of money? No, mom. He is buying only one or two things. That, that's it. That's all. Sorry. That's all. Okay, let's see. Mercy, how are you and Justin enjoying 
uh, your shopping trip, okay? So how are you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? We are having a lot of fun, okay? So let's see where your brother spent. Why, okay? Why your brother is spending a lot of money? No, mom, he's buying only one or two things. That's all, okay? So that, that will be the situation, right? So look at the pictures. So we have a lot of, a lot of gift right here. Yeah. So they, it's spending a lot of money, right? So <laughs> yeah, I Man, wish we could, right? Algún día usted y yo. Okay, so uh, let's see. I'm going to share with you this picture, okay? So deje ver si hay el, el grupo de WhatsApp de nosotros por algún lado por acá. Eh, aquí está. Ahí nos mandaron el recordatorio. Pendientes de plataforma. Blanques de la Fabricio, Crisia, Noé, Jensi. Bien, ahí están en la lista negra. Por favor, póngase al día con la plataforma. So, let me share something really quick right here because we have the rules. So, ING spelling rules, ok? So, um, ahí le envié al grupo, quiero ver. Sí. Deje ver. Sí, ¿verdad? Este es el grupo. Deje ver, alguien me está. <laughs> See right here. No, it's someone texting right here. Thank my goodness. Okay, so look at the pictures, right? B I A I N G spelling. Okay, mire. Regla general, general rule. In general, we just add ing to the end of the verb. So, por regla general, está bien que usted sepa que a todos los verbos yo le voy a agregar ing. Ok, pero no a todos. La mayoría, en general, sí. A la mayoría yo le pongo el ing y ya lo tengo el verbo en presente progresivo. Pero no todos. Ok. We have some sections. Number one, birds ending in a consonant plus E. Verbos que terminan en alguna consonante más E. We are going to remove the letter E from the end of the bird and we are going to add the ING. Verbos que terminan en consonante más una E. ¿Qué voy a hacer? Le voy a remover la letra E y voy a agregar el ING. Ejemplo, el verbo dance, mire, consonante, vocal E, right, consonante, vocal E, right, consonante, vocal E. ¿Qué dice la regla? Que yo simplemente elimino la E, pero tiene que ser, no todos los verbos que terminan en E, los que van con consonante más E, nada más. ¿Qué le voy a hacer? Le voy a eliminar la letra E y agrego el ING. Ok, second rule, consonant plus vowel plus consonant. We are going to see the verbs uh, when a verb with one syllable ends in a C, V, Z. So Z, V, Z means consonant, vowel, consonant, right? We are going to double the final consonant. Cuando el verbo termina en consonante vocal, consonante. ¿Qué voy a hacer yo? Voy a duplicarle la última consonante y le voy a agregar el ing. Ejemplo, el verbo could, mire, consonante vocal consonante. El verbo run, consonante vocal consonante. El verbo stop, eh, consonante vocal consonante. ¿Qué voy a hacer? 
le voy a duplicar la última consonante y agrego el ing. Could, couldn't, run, running, stop, stopping. Okay, so that's the other. Number three. Uh, last syllable is not a stress. Two or more syllables and final syllable is not a stress. Do not double final letter, okay? La última sílaba no tiene entonación. Stress es la entonación que uno conoce, right? So, dos o más sílabas. Eh, al final, la sílaba no es, tiene eh, entonación. No vamos a duplicar la última letra, ok? El verbo, por ejemplo, happened, ok? El verbo open, visit, ok? We have happening, opening, visiting, ok? No tengo que duplicarle la última consonante. Then we have verbs ending in X, Y, or J, ok? So, I'm sorry, Y, right? W, X, or Y. Verbos que terminan en W, X, o Y. Do not double the final letter at the end of the verb when it is uh, X, Y, or uh, W, okay? So, cuando el verbo termina en esas tres letras, mire, yo no voy a duplicarle el último, la última consonante, okay? El verbo, por ejemplo, snow, snowing, fix, fixing, play, playing, okay? So, ahí acuérdese, el verbo termina en W, X o Y, solo le pongo la I en eje, ok? So, birds ending in IE, verbos que terminan en IE. We are going to remove the IE, the, the IE uh, from the end of the birds, and we are going to add the ING, ok? Mm -hmm. So, si el verbo termina en IE, yeah. IE, ok? IE, so yeah. what we are going to do? Basically, Why? we are going to remove, Why? okay, the IE, and we Why? are going to add the Y, mm. ING, okay? Si el verbo termina en IE, oiga, si el verbo termina en IE, ¿qué voy a hacer? Voy a eliminar esa IE, esa IE se convierte en una Y, y le agrego el ING. Die, dying, lie, lying, tie. Time, okay. The next one, consonant plus vowel plus letter L. Consonante más vocal más consonante L. Aquí hay una excepción. Mire, no sé si usted logra distinguir ahí en la en la imagen que ahí hay dos banderitas, una de American yeah. y otra de British. That means que British, aquí va a depender. Yeah. No es que uno esté malo y el otro esté bueno. Ambos son Vamos, correctos, ¿ok? Si usted quiere hablar British, ¿usted qué va a hacer si tiene un verbo que termina en consonante vocal más consonante L? Usted va a duplicar la última L. Pero si usted está aprendiendo American, ¿ok? ¿Cuál es el caso de nosotros? Do not double the final L unless it's stressed, ¿ok? Si es inglés americano, no va usted a duplicar la última letra L, aún uh, solamente que tenga entonación. Examples, equal, British, we say equally, okay? So, America, we say equally. Travel, British, we say traveling. So, uh, in El Salvador, traveling. Uh, the last one says control. Controlling, controlling, okay? Ahí usted puede ver. British American, right? And the last one, it says, last syllable is a stress. La última sílaba tiene entonación. So, verb with two or more syllables and final syllable is a stress. We are going to double the final letter, okay? Letter. The example, it's begin, beginning, beginning, forget, forgetting, forgetting. submit, yeah. submit it, yeah. okay? So, these ones are the rules. The other picture that I sent is exactly the same. Lo único que hay hay otros ejemplos, right? So, but that is, that's the way it is, okay? So, are we okay? ¿Ya había visto esto usted anteriormente o, o, o no? Tal vez sí, ¿verdad? Tal vez no se acuerde. Yeah. ¿Qué le parece? 
puede uno decir, ay, qué chivo, el presente sí, continuo es bien chivo porque a todos se le pone ING. Ah, pero no es así como que tan a todo, ¿verdad? Hay unas sections que usted tiene que controlar eh, y saber, ¿verdad? La gran mayoría, y por eso es fácil, porque la gran mayoría son con ING nada más, ¿ok? Le vamos a mandar una, un ING exercise. Por aquí tengo un, un worship por el tiempo, ¿verdad? Que quizás no lo podemos hacer acá. Pero usted que tiene ahí la lista de verbos, ¿verdad? Que ya se los aprendió, que ya los tiene, ¿verdad? Puede usted este, trabajarlo. Le vamos a mandar aquí. Tengo bastantes. ¿Quieren de mucho o de poquito? De mucho o de bastante. Hay de todo un poco. Ay, Angie, veamos este. Do you feel confident before taking an exam? Ay, este está bonito. Son varias questions ahí. Algunas son questions, otras son sentences. So ahí tiene para divertirse 25 nada más. Ok. So, hágalo, ¿verdad? Por cuestión de tiempo, aquí difícilmente lo vamos a ir resolviendo. Tenemos que terminar acá. Pero usted en su tiempo, ¿verdad? Tenga un espacio. Vea, mire, number one. Do you feel confident before taking an exam? Y la segunda, studying for exam always makes feels nervous. Ok, so ahí lo importante es que usted practica el presente continuo y practica el uso del ING. Ok, porque ahí le dan el verbo así en paréntesis en la forma base. Usted lo debe de transformar, ¿verdad? Transformarlo al ING. Y obviamente para hacerlo usted tiene que ver cuál es la regla gramatical del ING que le compete o le corresponde a este verbo. Me equivoqué de chat al otro grupo, se lo, se lo mandé. Como aquí tanto grupo, miren. Y como todos me ponen la, o sea, ellos crean los grupos, ¿verdad? Todos tienen la misma imagen. Aquí es como a la deriva. Y yo diciéndole a otro grupo le mandé esto. No sé los del otro grupo que estoy soñando yo. Vale. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Ahí está. Quiero ver. Nueve días. Sí, ok, ahora sí. So, ahí lleva, mire, 25 sentences. Usted diviértase cuando tenga tiempo o agarre usted una lista de verbos. Busque. Birds in English y agarra la listita y empieza a transformarlos en ING para que usted practique. Vamos a borrarles esto. Este. Los demás que estoy mandando. Sorry. ING or two. The, the answer. Sí, ahí les pone two, pero most of them they are ing, right? So the ing. Lo que yo quisiera que usted transforme los verbos de la forma base a ing, aplicando la, la regla, verdad? La regla gramatical. Sí. Eh, nice. So let's continue, okay? So what we have right here is discussing it's anyone, it's anyone, topics to ask mm -hmm. about, okay? Traveling, living abroad, living abroad. You know what is living abroad? Vivir en el extranjero. Out of the country, yeah. right? So out of the country, there you go. Taking classes, going to high school or college, moving to a next a new home, I'm sorry, studying for a foreign language, okay? So it's anyone in your family traveling right now? Let's see, Marvin Alberto, I know you don't have camera, but I know you are there. So it's anyone in your family or you have any relative traveling right now, Marvin Alberto? Well, to be honest, I don't have any relatives. You don't have my goodness. No, but I will like to travel. <laughs> so probably you, right? Probably yeah, yeah. You, you will be traveling in a couple of months, okay? I hope so. so 
I hope so too, okay? So continue working hard with the English and you, you will do it, okay? You can't. Nice. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, Jensi Carolina. Ya le preguntamos. Espérenme, Blanca Estela no le hemos preguntado. Ahí, ahí está. So, Blanca Estela. Uh, let's see. Uh, is anyone in your family uh, living abroad right now? Blanca. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Blanca Estela. ¿Qué dice? There you go. Ahora sí, Blanca Estela. Ya le escuchamos. Yes, I have family living. Living abroad. Okay, so where exactly? Where exactly, Blanca Estela? I forget. Um, you don't know where? Okay, let's see. Um, vamos a ver, alguien más que no le hayamos preguntado por acá. No, 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 moving like a family or relative moving to a new home right now? Yes, my dad is. Okay, so your dad. Um, he's washing um, our movie. Okay, so, but did you get the, the idea? Did you get the question? So if you have someone, a relative or a friend or someone that you know, moving to a new home, moving to a new house. Sandra said, right? Yeah. Um, moving. Yeah, moving to a new house. That means that you are living here, but now you are moving your stuff and everything to a new home, right? Because of whatever. Yes, my dad. He's moving in bathroom. Okay, he's moving where? Um, bathroom. Be um, I don't know. Okay, but did you get the question, Sandra? Okay, I guess you understand, but I, I, don't, I didn't get your answer, okay? So if you have someone, conoce a alguien, amigo, familiar, lo que sea, que se esté cambiando de casa, right? So that's the question. You say yes, that your dad, okay? De ahí lo demás, si ya no le comprendí. Yeah, Sandra. He's moving to um uh, moving San Juan Opico ah, to okay. San Salvador. Okay, okay, perfect, Sandra. So you get it, okay? So nice, you get the question. So let's see what else we have right here. 
I have something in the chat. My cousin is living in Pennsylvania. Okay, Blanca Stella. Nice. So we have the snapshot, typical families. Okay, so we have a reading right here and the idea is, you know, uh, find out about your classmates, family, let's go into chain five. So, so we are going to read this part. And um, it's not kind of clear enough, the pictures in the home, uh, working family, marriage, okay? So typical families, okay? Um, let's see, Marvin, Alberto, help us read the first paragraph right here, the yellow one, please. Facts about the United States. 41% of homes have three or more televisions. 63% uh, of families almost, uh, almost always eat dinner together. Okay, okay, okay. So facts about the United States. So remember, this is American, right? So 41% homes have three or more televisions. My goodness, that's true. 80, even we Latin people, right? 63% of families almost always eat dinner together. together. Mm, that's not like quite the same as Salvadorians, right? So Salvadorians, we do have more than one television at home. Yo le pregunto a ustedes. Yo sé que la mayoría me va a decir que tiene dos, tres, uno en el cuarto, uno en la sala, uno en la cocina, y hasta en el baño, if it is possible, right? So about televisions, but about the la, the, the other one right here, the other fact, um, yeah, probably, yeah, right, we normally, we eat dinner together because lunch, not really, right? We are at working, so we are separate, okay? So, but let's see facts about your country. So what do you think? What will be the percentage? Marvin Alejandro, what do you think? The first one right here, facts, facts about your country. So what will be the percentage? What do you think? The first one I believe is 40%. 40%. Hmm, I would say more. Nosotros los, los salvadoreños especialmente oh, no Salvador tenemos Ryan. Salvadorians, right? Uh, Your country. Yeah. So no tenemos billetes, no tenemos dinero, pero Un 10%. Usted... No, <laughs> more, more. O sea, really? no, no hay casa en este país que no tenga televisión. O sea, no hay dinero, no hay trabajo y todo el mundo se queja, pero tienen un plasma de pared a pared. So... I don't know if you realize about that. So like people says, no, en El Salvador no hay dinero. Usted va a cualquier mall y ahí siempre está lleno y nudo de gente y las tiendas, pero que no hay dinero, right? Yeah. So I don't, I don't know how, but, but that's the way it is. Another thing I can see, for example, I can see, for example, here where I live, I can see the majority how a cars, one car or two cars, and the majority say the country is poor, but the majority always buy one car, for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we are always like we are always like complaining, right? Que la gasolina está bien cara, que no sé qué. Yeah, right. But, but we all, we, we have a car, okay? Y usted tiene un carro viejito y usted busca uno más nuevo. So you sell it and you get a new one and that's the way we are, right? So, but it's not that bad, right? But the, the idea is the analysis, right? That we are doing. Yeah. So here in El Salvador, like I would say like 65 or 70% of homes have three or more televisions. So podemos hacer una encuesta, sí. Let's see, rapidamente. So Maria, tell me how many televisions yeah. do you have at home? I have only one. Only one, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's see, Claudia Marlene, what about you? How many? Be honest. Only one. Only one. Jensi yes. Carolina? Two. Two televisions. Carlos Ernesto? Three, teacher. Three. You see? You see? Okay. So yeah. we have, okay? We have people that it's with more than one television 
in El Salvador. And what about families? So in this case, I would say like 50%, okay? La mitad de los salvadoreños cenamos juntos, digamos, en familia, right? No todos. Cada que hoy con la technology están en la misma casa, pero cada uno está viendo algo distinto. Uno está en Netflix, otro está en YouTube, otro está en TikTok, right? Y solo uno está hablando solo, okay? So, nice. Let's see. Uh, tell me, Maria, tell me, read the other uh, paragraph right here, the other one. two facts, okay, the blue ones. Yeah. 55% uh, of mothers with young children work, 78% in high school students have jobs. Um, facts about your country. Uh, with young children work, I think it's uh, 50 or 60 percent. And high school students have jobs. I think it's here is is only 20 percent. I think. Okay, nice analysis, nice analysis, Delmi. So 55% of mothers with young children work. Ahí in El Salvador, I will say more, right? I will say yeah, more. Yeah. So nowadays in the past, it was like just men's, right? They work and lady was like at home doing the house chores and everything. But nowadays we still do the house chores, but also we have a job. Yeah. Uh, 78 of high school students have jobs. So that is in the US. So in the US, uh, it's really common. High school, o sea, los estudiantes de bachillerato, imagine, they have a job. So, but the job that they have, it's like in a restaurant, in cafeterias, so in a, like, library, okay? So in El Salvador, no, right? So los high school students solo estudian, no trabajan. Oh, uh, teacher, 45%. Mm. Yeah. All those, right? Not all of them, but in El Salvador, most of the students, high school students, they just study. They don't have a job. Now, in my school, I work at a school. In my school, they do because they they are in a, out of the country, right? So they are in the out of the town. So in el campo es diferente, allá los yeah. bichos sí trabajan, right? Yeah. But in the city, no, yeah. los bichos son de papi y mami, right? They have everything, yeah. they don't have to work. <laughs> Estamos, de que esto está in the, interesante, right? So in facts. The rural, in the rural location, yeah, everybody works. But do you visit? Uh, they don't have bathroom. But they have one or two televisions. Okay, yeah, that's true. It's that's true. Yeah. That is true. Okay, work, so uh -huh. in my work, I I see that I see uh, this like a phenomenon. Mm -hmm. But yeah. it's true. Okay, okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. Definitely, tell me, nice. So let's see the last one. Who wants to read? The ultimo two facts, volunteer. The last two facts. You know what is facts, right? So typical families, right? It says right here, but facts. Uh, Alejandra, Maria, you don't have camera, but thank you. I see that you are there. So go ahead. 54% of adults between the age of 18, 18 and 35 marry. 27% of adults between the age of 18 and 34 live with their parents. Okay, okay. Here in El Salvador, I will say with the second one is a 90%. We live with our parents, even mm -hmm. we have a job or 
we are adults because buy a house is impossible. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's a different reality, right? It says 74% of adults between the ages of 18 to 35 may of memory. Hmm. No, in El Salvador, antes se casa la gente. 27% of adults between the ages 18 to 34 live with their parents. Yeah, I'm the same, I guess, here in El Salvador, right? So we have a, a, like a huge amount of people that they are adults, okay? Because you are an adult as soon as you get 18, but still they are like sharing or living with their parents, right? Because of the economy, because of the, uh, it's not easy to have a house here in El Salvador and the same story in the US, right? To get a, at home a person or something for you, that's not easy, right? So no cualquiera, o sea, es un trabajo difícil, no imposible, pero that's not easy, right? To have a job, to have a house, proper house, okay? Um, nice, so time is over. And I have to validate the, the attendance um, before to let you go. Deje ver donde está la asistencia, este volado se me cierra siempre. Yeah, so nada más valido con los que no, no tienen asistencia, son como tres personas nada más, quiero ver. Eh, Kenia Roxana, no está. Eh, Crisia Lorena, Noé de Jesús, Noé de Jesús. Me pareció ver acá en el chat. No es, no es, no es. Si sí está la lista de nosotros, ¿verdad? Estoy leyendo otra yo, qué barbaridad. No, si sí está es. So, no es. No. Bien. So, three people, right? So, las tres personas que mencioné. Eh, so, time is over. Appreciate it. Eh, mañana voy a mencionar nuevamente el porcentaje, tranquilos, muchos de ustedes mañana van a estar en el 80, ya va a estar un poco más relajado, trabaje la plataforma, de hecho ya seleccionarán algunos para el siguiente módulo, así es que eh, trate de no faltar, si usted es una de las personas que lo mencioné y que va así un poco bajito, este, trate de no faltar los tres días que faltan, bueno, dos, y, y eso pues le va a ayudar a llegar al 80, ok? So, thank you for your time and everything. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Good night.